one more generator smoking away. Smoke's gonna add up and down recently, so it's got oil places it probably should. And it's running real rough because they soaked the, the intake uh, filter got all oily and gassy, so. Anyways, I just wanted to show a quick application on what I can use this little generator for. If I use it with this little power pack, all I have to do is connect these uh, cables up together. So it's going to be hard to do with one hand. We have the positive to positive. And now I'm going to do negative to negative. I don't know if you guys saw before, but this is at 13.1, 13 volt. Now it's being charged by the generator. And now, if I want to say 110 power, I just... There, now the inverter's on. Now, I can grab something like... I'd say this halogen light bulb. It's about... Well, we'll see how many watts the inverter set it is. First, we're gonna we're gonna do it with uh, the generator not charging the battery, and there we have it. The light is on, taking 420 watts. My battery percentage is 42 percent, and dropping 35 percent. Now I'm gonna turn the generator. I'm gonna flip the switch, and the generator is gonna start charging this battery. The generator is charging the battery. It's only at idle, so it's only going to be putting out about 22 amps or so. Now it's a percentage. Oh, 100%. So that means it's close to, to about 13 inch volts, which is very interesting. Yeah, still reading that, so. Let's see if we turn this off, and I'm going to check the voltage. It's right back up to 13 point some odd volts. So I'm going to shut it off again. Now this is just the alternator running. The engine is very unstable, so it's going all over the place. But now this is running just off the battery on this thing. And I just want to work, wear it down just a little bit. It's a 400 watt inverter built in. So 420 watts, I'm pushing it to its limits. The light is on, running at full brightness. And there's no load on the generator. Percentage of the battery is 42%, 35%, it's dropping fast. It, there's only like a 22 or a 24 amp hour battery in this thing. And I'll start the video again once this is dropped further. Alright, this is a few minutes later. And I guess the lighter something's warmed up, it's taking less power, maybe the output voltage on the inverter has sagged, I'm not sure. I took the intake filter on that off, now it runs fine. This is the output power of the, ge of the little generator. And the percentage on this thing is down to 20, between 28 and 35 percent. And let's see what the voltage is when I uh, turn the battery pack on. That's 12.8, almost 12.9. There it is running. Smoking away still because I had it upside down recently. And this keeps falling. I'm wondering if the inverter's uh, voltage is dropping slightly because of such a high uh, draw. Now I'm going to shut the inverter off because this is its max load. And I want to see what this voltage goes up to. 13.65 I think it is. Yeah, close to that. 
Looks like that reads a little high or this reads a little low, one or the other. So it charges the battery back up. And then we're holding at 13.4748, 4748. And now you can hear the, it starts having trouble. And the bolt starts dropping. I only have it at idle. I can turn it up and it'll put out up to almost 50 amps and it would have no problems running this light at all. But uh, the pulley on it is aluminum and it just, the way I fastened it on there just is not good enough for a full, uh, full throttle. So I gotta get some uh, steel pulleys which I will weld to the bottom of the the alternator, and then I'll be able to go for a full out test, but for now, this is just a little tiny camping uh, use for this little generator, homemade generator. It'll run a lot better once all the oil and stuff burns out from around the engine and all that stuff. And, and again, I'm going to shut the inverter off. Brings it right back up the voltage. Charge the battery right back up. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, Please hit the like button and uh, if you want to see more, subscribe.